All right, guys, welcome back to Our World Outdoors. So today, we wanted to bring you guys something a little salty, a little sweet, and just perfect for dehydrating on the trail. So today, we're going to be doing dehydrated tuna, but it's gonna be barbecue tuna. Now, what kind of barbecue sauce you wanna use is up to you. Everybody has their own tastes and styles. Some people like hickory, some people like smokier, some people like saltier. We like the Kroger's 50% less sugar and salt. So lower sodium, lower sugar, but it also comes out to a really crazy thick consistency. So it sticks to everything we're gonna dehydrate or if we're making ribs or something. So your baseline for this is gonna be tuna. You're gonna use 15 ounces in this recipe, but it needs to be in water, guys. Oil does not dehydrate well. Do not use tuna that's in oil. Now, honey, we're gonna combine all this in a bowl, right? Yes. All right, so this is one that we actually recorded this video already, and the audio was bad. So this is take two. But we have got to try it out on the trail. Yep, and it was really, really, really good. Really Especially good. Especially when it hits potatoes. Like in a ramen bomb, barbecue on potatoes is amazing. Now, like I said though, guys, this is this stuff is thick, so it will stick. So, yeah. <laughs> this will be great on like wraps. Yep. This is something you could eat straight out of the bag when you rehydrate it, whereas a lot of the other things we do are made to mix with other things in order to decrease the power of the hot sauce or buffalo or Nashville hot or whatever. Now, I haven't tried it, but I'm sure it would be great to co cold soak. I would think it'd be amazing to cold soak, honestly. Tuna rehydrates super easy, guys. That's one of the reasons. Do not be afraid to dehydrate tuna because the rehydration is literally like if you were making ramen and you just dropped it in when it was hot, it would be like a minute or two and you'd be ready to go. It's that fast. So now that she's got it all mixed up thoroughly throughout, which you just saw how easy that was, guys. This is simple. Don't overthink this. We're going to go ahead and get a tray. Now, obviously, if you tried to put that on a standard dehydrating tray, it would just stick and fall through because they have holes in them. So we just take parchment paper, lay it down, trace it out. Now, she's going to just quickly spread this out. We want you guys to see that this is extremely easy, short, easily available to everybody. Backpacking meals are getting insanely expensive. Inflation's hit them recently, and I don't even want to talk about the numbers I've seen when I went to look at them. But with that said, literally you can get these for about 70 cents at Aldi's if you want to. And then what do you got, a dollar in barbecue sauce? I believe we bought that whole, this whole bottle for $2 and some on sale at Kroger's. So you're talking probably like $3.50. Now this is only three servings because tuna only has 90 calories. You need calories when you're out on the trail. So. Do not take like a little bit of this and try and bust it up in like six portions. This is three servings. Now that said, look at how beautiful she did. Amazing job. I usually say that most tuna usually takes eight hours in our dehydrator. Now what your dehydrator does or what you use to do it may be different and variable. But then again, we will see you in the morning to come back to try it out for breakfast, which will be Rather odd on the taste buds, but I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good. And just to follow it up, we will actually rehydrate two of these since my wife mentioned it. We will cold soak one and let you know how it did. So we will see you guys in the morning. And we're back. It's the next morning. So after eight hours, the barbecued tuna has fully dehydrated. It actually is very, very dry. I've got coffee. I've got a wife to do all this work for me. Today is good. But let's actually take a look at it here. Now, what we've got is some super dry. I mean, that is just absolutely super dry tuna. Now, this stuff actually smelled really good last night. It actually made me very, very hungry. I can't say that I'm super into eating tuna at 8 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> but... So... I suppose he wants me to get to work now bagging this up. That's how that usually works. 
Make sure you guys label your bags. You don't want to be playing mystery dinner in the freezer right before a trip. Or maybe you do, because on my last, one of my most recent trips, I scored the good bag. Yeah, the dehydrated Sloppy Joes. <laughs> These are right up there with the Sloppy Joes, though, for me. The barbecue tuna. When the barbecue hits like a ramen bomb or something, it's really good. And it's really whatever barbecue you like. I mean, it doesn't have to be one in particular. One little corner there sticking up. There you go. Thank you. See? She did it. But, look at that. Now compare this. This is three servings in our opinion. Because it's only 90 calories a serving. Compare this to carrying those those tuna packets. Go weigh those tuna packets and weigh it against this. I promise you this is way lighter. And then take it and go against trying to carry a can and a little mini can opener or anything like that. Not to mention the cost guys. For one serving of this is equitable to one packet which is a dollar. You can get them for 70 cents and make this and be able to mix it with other stuff. But we know what you all been waiting for. Yep. You've been waiting for this the taste This is what test. I've been waiting for too. I don't know that I'm waiting for it at 8 o'clock in the morning. Tune mm -hmm. at 8 o'clock in the morning. That might be a trail thing. I don't know. <laughs> My hiker trash is not going that good this morning. I don't I don't think. We'll see. The nice thing about this is if you're not a big tuna fan, that barbecue sauce really... Yeah, you, you don't even really know it's tuna. That said, that actually was pretty good. I can't lie. It didn't go great with coffee. But we have another thing because someone here was talking about cold soaking. But we did like the worst cold soaking ever because what we did was put that in the microwave for 30 seconds, put some water in this and like did this a few times and it started filming. So it's literally like cold soaking instantly. So it's still a little watery. But I would say I would probably give it more like 10 to 15 minutes if I was cold soaking. Maybe even like if I was at halfway to camp, put it in the bag with some water and then go to camp if you really want to make sure it's done. But just to show you how fast, it probably hasn't been three minutes, guys. And that's how fast whoop, it's rehydrated. Look how soft it is. So... Still a little watery, but not bad. I almost think you even get more of the barbecue flavor. It tastes that way, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. So, cold soaking this out to put it on wraps or something else when you get to camp might be a huge ordeal for making life a lot easier at camp. I know a lot of times I get to camp and the thought that I have to take time to cook because I'm usually ravenous because I don't like to stop. So, you know, for example, that last Zaleski trip, when I got to camp, I was ready to eat anything I could find, literally. And I was actually eating dry wraps while I was waiting for stuff to cook. So, it's one of the things where it's a nice option to be able to have to do it. We clearly have shown you it's very easy to do. This stuff rehydrates so easy, so fast. So, take the time to go ahead and make some of this. Now, let me talk to you guys. If you guys haven't gone down subscribed yet, what are you doing? Take a moment, go down, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave us a like if you feel so inclined. Let us know in the comments what you think of barbecued tuna. Have you taken it out and dehydrated it and then taken it on the trail? And what other things do you want to see dehydrated? And with that said, honey, we will see you up the trail. Now clean it up. Clean it up. That's not yours. This one's mine. That's mine. Give it it's... to me. Give it to me. That's right. Now clean this up. You try it. <laughs> try it. 